Hello, I'm John Dickert from Continental VDO, and today I'll be showing you how to program your viewline tachometer without engine hour meter. As I walk you through this process, I'll be referring to instruction sheet number A2C 595 19485. The instruction sheet should be included with your tachometer, and it's also available on our website. Simply search by part number and choose the download for your instruction sheet. The most important thing to know when you're programming your tachometer is where your signal is coming from and how many pulses per revolution you need. For this tachometer, signal sources can come from one of two locations, the negative side of the coil or the AC tap on your alternator. If you're getting your signal from the negative side of the coil, the pulse count is normally half the number of cylinders. If you're getting your signal from the AC tap on the alternator, that post is usually marked with a W or an R. To determine those number of pulses, you divide the diameter of the crankshaft pulley by the diameter of the alternator pulley and multiply that result by half the number of magnetic poles on the alternator. If you're going to get your signal from the AC tap on your alternator and your pulses are determined to be more than eight, your tachometer must be reprogrammed to that pulse count by the distributor. Now that you've determined the number of pulses for your tachometer, we're ready to program it. Refer to illustration B on your instruction sheet and set the dip switches accordingly. Your tachometer is now programmed. Start the vehicle and verify the RPMs with a handheld mechanical tachometer. Thank you for choosing VDO, and if you have any questions, please contact our technical support team.